in light of what happened on the cross and in light of how the, the day of the revolution began, mm -hmm. what do you hope the church looks like in a hundred years? What, wow. How, wow. how do you hope we are imaging the, the character of God into the world? What changes do you hope we make? Wow, wow. No big deal. It, it's, yeah. <laughs> I don't. It's funny. I don't often think about that. Maybe I should think about it more. Um, partly because the work that I've done in the church over the last sort of thirty years, um, it's been very confused, and there have been some wonderful signs of hope, and some really bad things that have happened. And I kind of wrestle with all of that and try to hold on to it in prayer. I do hope and pray that the vision of church unity will come back and actually strike us. There was this thing called the ecumenical movement for much of the 20th century, which meant that actually Anglicans and Roman Catholics were at least talking to each other, mm -hmm. and Methodists and Baptists were at least talking to each other, mm -hmm. etc. Um, we've now got to a point where we've done a lot of that, and we actually discover we agree mm -hmm. on all sorts of things that we didn't realize we agreed on, mm -hmm. but we're still stuck in our institutions and our own buildings, mm -hmm. and it's kind of difficult to know what we do next, mm -hmm. and it seems to me that we ought to be working harder at doing together all the things we can do together, mm -hmm. which should include um, going as a body to the local government, etc., and saying, there are some really poor people in this part of town, we need to do better for them, or mm -hmm. whatever it may be, local issues and then global issues as well. And I've taken part in some of those in various places, where you can link arms with Christians from very different backgrounds, quite possibly with very different theologies. You say, we can at least agree that this is an offense to the image-bearing status yeah. of these people. Um, but out beyond that, um, the unity is not just all of us in this place, but it's a unity in the New Testament which is across ethnic boundary lines, it's across gender boundary lines, um, and we've hardly begun really to wake up to that in mm -hmm. the Western world. And I think that goes back partly to the Reformation. We want the scriptures and the liturgy in our own language. Mm -hmm. Therefore, um, we will have a French church in London, we'll have a Polish church, we'll have a Portuguese church, etc. Mm -hmm. People not realizing that they were accidentally instantiating nationalism and ethnic identity. And then when you map onto that, the terrible business of people, including British people, shipping thousands of people from Africa across yeah. to the West Indies and, and the Southern States of America, um, and then them being treated not just as second-class citizens, but of course, of course, as slaves. Um, there's so much to work through there, so much penitence required, and people get scared about that. Mm -hmm. But my goodness, if Paul could see that whole thing, he would say, oh, this is terrible. You've got to work on putting that right. So those are some obvious things, but there are some obvious moral things as well, because we have to recover the sense that those who follow Jesus are new creation people, mm -hmm. and the new creation is getting the original creational project back on track. Mm -hmm. And that plays out in all sorts of obvious areas. Mm -hmm. um, and we need to be working on this. It's very difficult. We need to recognize that it is a struggle. The victory that was won on the cross is then applied often sadly through the suffering of God's people mm -hmm. and the rejection of people who try to make things happen. But, mm -hmm. you know, God is good. Yeah. Good things will happen. Yeah. More and more, I I grieve tribalism. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. Our, especially in the States, our politics are hopelessly polarizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I see... This ten, and on the internet, you throw yeah, other yeah. other Christians under the bus. Well, did you hear yeah, so-and-so yeah, yeah, said yeah, yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Or so-and-so is a heretic. I When I first came upon <laughs> you, I googled your name and heretic, and several things came up. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> sure, I'm sure. And, but it, that is that is tragic. And I'm not saying that doctrine doesn't matter. It yeah. really, really does. Um, but uh, as many generations have discovered, there are new things hidden inside scripture which we just hadn't noticed. Mm -hmm. And it's extraordinary. Once you start noticing them, where was that last time I read it? Yeah. And you know, I read the Bible roughly one and a half times every year, give or take, and I constantly see things that I think, that wasn't there last time, yeah. you know, which implies that I hope I am growing and learning. Yeah. And the, the whole church needs to do that. Yeah. I don't think I realized how much, you know, as an individualist, I read every you in the New Testament as you singular yeah, and me yeah, directly. Yeah. And and I'm learning how how many of the yous are plural. Yes, and it's yes, our, yes. our unity yes. as the body of Christ despite yes, yes. our 
ethnic differences, our, yeah. our traditions, et cetera, et cetera, the right. way that we function together as one body right. reflects right. something very significant about the yeah. character of God into the world. Yeah. It's given me a much better appreciation for my brothers and sisters in Christ who, I, I got to go to a service where you attend worship and it was very <laughs> different than, very different <laughs> right. than right. the service that I go to. Um, and and it, it was actually all inspiring and it's like, yeah, these are my brothers and sisters and they might do things differently, but the way that I love them shows the world what it looks like when Jesus yeah, becomes king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Absolutely. The, the, Absolutely. the plurality of the yous in the New Testament. And, Absolutely. And, we collectively are the city yeah, on the yeah, hill yeah, how yeah. we treat each other. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I still want to say, if somebody is simply opening the Bible and taking all the use as singular, that's not a bad place to start. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have that than secular atheism or Buddhism or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's great. But then, yes, the Bible is constantly nudging us and saying, hang on, you missed out this bit or mm -hmm. you haven't realized that. Yeah. And that's a lifelong process. Yeah. It's certainly been like that for me. Yes. Well, 